issue also. I mean, not that we necessarily want to get caught up in another <laughs> um, maelstrom there, but um, you know, if they if the HRC you know feels like you know uh, uh, by not allowing parking, we're making it more difficult for people of lower income to live in Shorewood. You know, I mean, the, I just just to have those different perspectives. Um, because it, it is going to be a pretty important policy that, that we're going to have to, in the CDA, you know, I mean, um, so it's, it's going to be, I mean, it's not going to be an easy decision, some of these parking decisions and parking, you know, as I've said many times, is a, a lose-lose, you know, people are always going to be mad no matter what you do, so, um, yeah, so, it, I, I mean, it would help, would help me, I think, to just have, you know, the different perspectives of um, some of the committees, their response to the consultant's report, you know what I mean? Well, there are members of those committees on the advisory advisory. So I don't think we have conservation for that's where we do oh, have, we bike and pad. We have bike and pad for sure. Yeah, because um, um, Rachel. Rachel. Yep. Rachel's on there? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's the hope is that those members do provide that perspective from their various committees. Um, and like I said, they'll be getting it a week after I get it, so hopefully I don't have too much delay in being able to push it forward. Um, and then I'll, the board will also get at that same time as well just to understand where it's coming from. But that's the current timeline. Um, I have some hesitation in sharing that because I do feel as though perhaps it might scoot based on what I see. But hey, if it's great, all the better. So, uh, so that is moving forward. The Metro Market is part of that study as well. So they, have, they will have specific recommendations on what to do or not do there. Um, so that's um, as part of the development agreement, that's one of the requirements. Um, things that didn't make it onto this after um, I submitted it, we did a, a lot of occupancy um, buzz in the, in the department over the last week or two. Like I said, Casa de Corazon should be coming shortly. Um, the, mo the final mosaic tenant space, we believe, will be submitted shortly as well. Um, and so they had talked to Eric and I, like, I don't know, probably two or three months ago, and they were working on a lease. It sounds as though that lease has been close to finalized because my building inspector indicated that someone was going to be applying for it shortly so hopefully that will be filled um, there's a noise issue with orange theory um, I guess the, the thumping yeah the, 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 the <laughs> soundproofing wasn't installed perhaps as well as it could have been so before this tenant signed on that needs to be fixed out. <laughs> and, so before this tenant would sign on they need to fix that issue so that's what he's been contacted for um, we had um, a couple people Contact us about the former Hayek space um, for potential uses in there. Hayek Taco, which I believe is the finalized name of what the ruckus will turn into, is um, what we come in. Hayek. H I Y A Taco. Hayek. Oh, Hayek. 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 <laughs> so that should be coming in. Um, as I mentioned, the gather over here at the former McMinniman's Irish Dance Studio is the, the wine bar. They're looking, um, they have one more thing to finalize in their lease, too, and then they're looking to submit for occupancy. More behind the city market, city market, oh, yes, yeah, behind city market, and then um, uh, there was one. Is that dance company that was there? They're moving to another location in Sherwood. Yep, yeah, they moved to the building um, with um, Harry's in it. So oh. it's, in a, it's a behind Russian oh, gifts. Okay. I think there's a space back there. Oh, there's. What about the uh, dispensary at former Actea, Oklahoma Capital? Are they still mm -hmm. moving forward? The pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. Dispenser. I was gonna I say, was did <laughs> did <laughs> my prediction come true? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was one word. month. I used, were... I used the wrong word. <laughs> well, you used the word that. Too. I know. It's early in the morning, and I'm confused. I'm sorry. Early for that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. They're moving forward. They're but, moving. Yep. Uh, so, they, are, do they have occupancy permit already? Or no, they're occupancy. getting building permits on um, in the interior. No, I just want it filled. You know? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. I'll take anybody. <laughs> I mean, just out of curiosity, you know, Joe's, hey, sir, Joe's point he brought up at the last, the, the sort of the evolution, the path that that could be happening. I mean, again, it's not our staging. It's not our purview. For but has right. that been raised to? I don't know where that needs to go for people to consider to get in front of it, right? right. Or however we want to address it. I don't know if that's a village board question it's or it's that's probably a plan commission, plan commission first yeah. in terms of um, zoning and because there's a lot of you know new information coming out by the month year in terms of how other states are handling it. So the plan commission would definitely be. The first I just didn't want it to get lost. Sure, I'd be intrigued. This is a really good point to bring yeah, up. I'd be intrigued to see what the village's 
thoughts are and why yeah. we vote, you know? I mean, if we want it, then we could be the right. first, right. and that could be an attractor for some people. If we definitely don't want it, then we should be in a position to Either way, as you said, you yeah. should be intentional about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of setback from the schools that for it's pre- prohibits it's it. It's pretty close to the... Yeah. I don't know if it's three... It's probably not 300 feet from the door but of the school, because there's a big lawn, and I know right. with the gas station it wasn't. But, I mean, it's... Oh, you're right. It's pretty. It's pretty. So big, it's yeah. very close to the high school, and as someone with kids, as as kids in the high, high school, school yes. I'm kind of like, this is not the place. To be doing that. But that's yeah. my feeling. But I don't know what you're. You've had a lot of kids go through the high school. I have had a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that they need to need that right across the street. Practically on campus. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get the science machines to do less. <laughs> Big leaf. <laughs> He's sitting there thinking about it all day. So. And then the last one is the former rethreads over here in Capitol. Um, there's a smoothie um, store looking to locate in there. So there's been a lot of occupancy buzz in the department. Nothing's been submitted yet, and I, I don't think any of that is you know, not, not worth sharing. But So hopefully in the next month or two we get a lot more activity on that as well. So Could I ask, did, did the board make any decision about the uh, idea of an ordinance for resolution ordinance, I guess, for uh, buildings that have been uh, vacant for such a long time mm-hmm. and a way to incentivize. Yeah, or, whatever happened to that? Or yeah. de-incentivize. Right, yeah, <laughs> or try to... The vacancy tax. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's come up at the board level, mm-hmm. at least yeah. not inside. We sent it there maybe over a year ago, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah. I, I haven't seen I, I don't recall seeing anything. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if I don't, I don't even know if it's if what we're talking about is an incentive or a de incentive. I don't know what was sent out. Well, it's probably more like a stick rather than a carrot. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> right. But for some of them, and, and now that this is going to be filled, it, mm-hmm. but there are still other ones too that have really been vacant for years, not months. And there's a there are model ordinances, I guess, around the the state or the country for ways to deal with that that hopefully motivate it. We thought it was a good idea, but... Um, it wasn't really our purview, but we right. pulled some information together. I think San Francisco does something like that, if memory yeah. serves. Uh, there's some sort of I mean, I think they were looking at some model ordinances. Mm-hmm. And, and I can just, so I don't know exactly where it ended up, so I, I apologize for that, but I know it did. I don't think you were here yet either. Uh, I was. I wasn't here. When, here. I wasn't here John. when it was when CA was discussing it. I mean, because I know Erica. Because actually, the, I think the bid requested yes. that the board look at it again. Um, so I did look at the model program that was proposed. I had a couple questions and issues with it. I think we took it to the board as a request from the bid to consider working on it. But I don't know that it was ever prioritized in terms of the initiatives. I think that's it was on the priority list, right. but it wasn't prioritized. That's right. Right. So I think it was um, taken there, but I don't know that it was fully discussed in terms of pros or cons on it. So um, I think you're right. On that. But I do recall looking at the program, and it was it was modeled off of something in California, is my memory. It wasn't San Francisco, but it was somewhere else in, in San Fran- in California. Uh, so if the board had wanted to move it forward, it was my recommendation that other modifications would be needed on it. Um, but I don't think it was ever prioritized within the list of larger things. It's my memory. Of okay. that one. Any other? Nope, that's pretty much it for mine. Obviously, Erica's working busy on the feast for this weekend. Um, so, and then you did week. include this. Oh, yes, yeah, um, we have this that letter. Here, Oops. That he had, um, I was this. very, very intrigued by this letter, mm-hmm. and I was interested for people in people's vested interest. Yeah, I mean that's why what I thought. Here was, I, was I mean, I thought some of the statements made, but I was interested in Dusty's view on this and others. I mean, I, they make their money. They, off they make selling houses. Selling houses. Yeah. So I, I thought there's a bit of that, but you know, these broad statements of this type of environment has less. Crime and less, and I'm like, well, if you look at, right, to make broad statements like that, I think is dangerous um, and not helpful. Um, the source. So I, just I, just look at it the was source. just an interesting. I said that someone real. I was just curious on on the thoughts of staff and, and others. 
It's right here. The inventory is two or three months. They just there's just not enough inventory for. Because I did I did look. I just went on Shore West to make good money. With, there's there's I think there's 18 houses for sale in Shorewood for less than three hundred fifty thousand dollars. There are. Yeah. GMAR. Well, I just went to Shore um, West, and that's what it's on the next page. Well, no, I should say. Oh wait. Maybe 15, 15 houses. It was a stern warning to us. I looked at them and they, I uh, guess that's true. I don't know. Most of them are types of your community. Did you write some local Yes, I'd be surprised. I mean, I was, I mean there, there's a house over on Sheffield that they're asking like 375 or 385. For, for a house over on, you know, ah, I mean, Sheffield, but they're little houses. You know, and it's like, huh? I mean, I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on with the market right now. The times they are changing. It's all location. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll do housing study short. People want to. <laughs> <look. laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. all understand. I, I don't understand why they sent that letter. Out. I that yeah. But okay, that's. that's that they blanket sent it, I'm sure, to every municipality. That's what the, this person dressed as well, to, to try to you know, draw like more within our industry about yeah. the imbalance of rentals versus, and a lot of it impacts the tax base with that bases within the communities too, because they're not taxed in the same. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. What ten, a ten unit apartment building definitely has a lower tax than a ten unit condo building. And it, sure. it's a balancing act, and that's probably what this study is all about: is to just, is to research sure. where but where we stand right now and moving forward, what what decisions we might want to make when we when we start looking at future. But realtors don't care as much about the tax base as the municipality. When you live in the community, you do. Well, <laughs> you know, every, that's our biggest concern here. This is, sure this is, is like from the association. Right. Our studies are always about property taxes, and the whole idea was. To get our business, uh, our our business community up and running, and, and it's doing that. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's there's uh, uh, differences in how how renters spend versus homeowners spend, um, condo owners, and, and and things like that. And and you know, you reach a, a saturation point in every every market. And but that's like an example. So yeah. when you say so. Is that like is that true for all renters? Because to me, no. our renter base is a is a fairly affluent renter. I mean, in to maybe, and I, I don't know that for oh, sure. Well, we but have we have like S -S homes, isn't it would be considered yeah, like entry level yeah. in in uh, in the greater Milwaukee area. Their rents are really low, mm -hmm. from, you know, generally speaking. Yeah. When we talk about low cost housing in Shorewood, that's probably. Number one is, is there's a lot of zest for homes, fairly affordable apartments in mm -hmm. Shoreland. Partly because the housing stock is mm -hmm. older. Oh, okay. I mean, all yeah. I don't know how many hundreds of units are up and down Oakland and mm -hmm. all those walk ups, right. yeah, but you know. So, I guess the other question was, is there any again, for the people that are smarter about this than me, is there anything in here that would inform the housing study or would? I think it's too. I can talk to Mike Rizik and find out if it was if he sent it everywhere. He's a pretty smart guy. I, I can tell you that. And I've got a lot of respect for what he does, mm -hmm. uh, and in in general. But somebody prompted him to do this. I'm yeah. sure. I think any any application for a multifamily proposal would receive this type of scrutiny, anyways. You know, like what's its benefit to the tax base? This is really broad level to have that discussion, as opposed to someone comes in and says we want to do a fifty unit. Rental. Mm -hmm. Well, then we have this discussion. This is one perspective on it. But well, you're, yeah, you're not. We can't set priorities you're not based upon the picture when we're sitting here. But when you go out in the Waukesha County and run into a 230 or 250 unit apartment building in the middle of nowhere. No, I get that. I'm saying, it. and if someone proposes that, we'd have this discussion. But just yeah. having this discussion in a vacuum with no well, no one proposing was, either. It was doesn't it matter. Was it the or the cornerstone that was originally proposed as condos and oh. then converted? Yeah. To, to, and I and I and that, but that was kind of in somewhat more recessionary times. So it is kind of curious that the market hasn't made the switch back. You know, well, to it's, 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 it's switching. Yeah, it's, yeah. They decided to switch. They could. Switch. Anybody could just, switch. Now we have to wait twenty four months for anything to get, uh, you know, shovels to the ground. But I mean, I mean, I agree that I think because the only condos aren't the only condos. The uh, Crossing the Edgewood, right? Edgewood Place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, couple, couple buildings. Uh, that, um, 
uh, Eastwood, our condos, Eastwood is what I think. The Ravina yeah. on, on Lake Drive, those are all condos. Right, oh, okay. But I mean, we don't have. And Cornerstone. I don't think it's rental, isn't it? Yeah. It's Cornerstone, Cornerstone is rental. Yeah, they're, they're both rental. Well, the one then across, the, up, up above uh, the um, home health care place. Oh, that Metropolitan? Metropolitan. Metropolitan. That's, yeah. that's is that condo? condos. I mean, but generally people who want to move to condo or complain that there's not much condo to buy in Shorewood. So, there isn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, and you know, and uh, Legacy, that's all condo too. That was a great conversion mm -hmm. too. And they didn't ask for a penny from the village. And that thing flew off the market even in the worst of times. Uh, they did a real Thompson group. That's that kind one. of uh, down by the BP on Oakland. Um, a lot of locals won't live there because it was a nursing home and they don't like oh, the yeah. fact a lot of people. <laughs> foreigners were there like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the other thing that this letter <laughs> made me think about was again the conversation. We, you know, they're asking us to sort of influence the market. Yeah. And, and you know, I always struggle with, you know, this. If we did this all now, five years from now, things would be completely. You know, I feel like you're just sort of you can be swinging back and forth in reaction to what's going on without a I'll sort of a firm long-term policy. Maybe he said it because uh, we're doing our housing study. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, the plan was there to find out what I can, you know, or why they're. They don't always know. They sometimes they just follow the winnings. So there's really no, I mean, this was just FYI. Yeah, Multi-million dollar projects are just followed along like what? Sometimes they are, yeah. Oh, okay, so one of so that is over. Why is there so many Is there a motion, motion to adjourn? Because they grabbed the money wallet. Do I have a second? Second. 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 Favor? Aye. Thank you, everybody. I always did wonder about the language. So people do actually have concerns about it.